Thanks, Sarah. Emergency funding for emergency services. In the final hours of the Minnesota legislative session, lawmakers passed a $30 million aid package. It will help rural medical departments. KIMT News 3's Evan Berg spoke with IOTA's volunteer ambulance service, and Evan is here to tell us how these funds will be used and why they might not be enough. The EMTs at Yoda Volunteer Ambulance Services are certainly thrilled to hear the state of Minnesota is investing in rural EMS. I spoke with both the management and EMTs here on staff about how they were feeling about it after hearing the news about the Senate this weekend. Yoda's EMS is set to receive over $96,000 from the bill. IV lines. I think it's wonderful that they're investing in rural EMS. We have a real need to have support in the EMS service and to have that financial support is wonderful. The volunteer service says the funds from the bill will likely go towards bolstering the department's capacity by purchasing more equipment and paying for training to support new recruits. But the department's director says it is a short-term solution. The decision, in my opinion, um, comes late, but better late than never. I am not unappreciative, that's for sure. While the funding from the bill won't be enough to give volunteers full-time salaries or wages, I've been told in IOTA specifically, they're hoping it can help smooth the transition as the service tries to go from being a purely volunteer organization to a more professional one sometime in the near future. In IOTA, Evan Berg, KMT News 3. The bill also includes a Sprint Medic pilot program where trained medical staff could arrive on scene first to determine if an ambulance is needed.